The music world is mourning the loss of legendary Rolling Stones drummer Charlie Watts. Watts passed away this morning at the age of 80. He was the drummer for the Stones for more than half a century. Our Phil Blower joins us again with a look at his incredible legacy. Phil, as expected, a lot of music stars reacting today. Oh, no doubt, Christina. Music industry icons are weighing in on the passing of Charlie Watts, called one of the greatest drummers of his generation. Alongside Mick Jagger and Keith Richards, Watts was the only member of the Rolling Stones to appear on every studio album. The music community mourning the loss of Charlie Watts. Legends sharing their grief, condolences, and admiration for the drummer. Charlie was a rock um, and a fantastic drummer. And Elton John sharing the photo of the pair on Twitter with a message, a very sad day. Charlie Watts was the ultimate drummer, the most stylish of men, and such brilliant company. The rest of his bandmates obviously are feeling great sadness because he's been with them for so long. Watts publicist saying today that the drummer passed away peacefully surrounded by his family in his London home at the age of 80. This news comes after Watts has announced he would not be touring with the Stones in 2021 because of an undefined health issue. Watts was recovering from a recent medical procedure, which a spokesperson said was completely successful just earlier this month. Watts was the last to join the Stones in 1963 after the band's extensive search for a drummer. Although the drummer was not known for showy solos, bandmates Mick Jagger and Keith Richards both praised him as the key to the Stones. His drumming was the foundation of the Rolling Stones. I mean, there were two elements in the Rolling Stones music. Obviously, the vocals and the front man, Mick Jagger, the greatest front man in rock and roll history. And while Watts provided the beat for one of the greatest rock groups of all time, his true love was jazz. Charlie was different. He, he had a swing. He had an element of swing to his playing that almost no ro other rock and roll drummer had to that degree. And he was really a jazz fan. And despite his fate, he was the happiest living a simple life in rural England and performing on stage. He wasn't into the flash or the glitz or the glamour, and that came across in his playing. He was not a flashy drummer at all. And his presence will certainly be missed when the band kicks off its No Filter Tour next month. Well, the big question tonight, who is replacing Charlie Watts? The answer is award-winning drummer Steve Jordan. In fact, Charlie Watts had personally asked Steve Jordan to stand in for him when he realized he might not make the tour, which does kick off in St. Louis on September 26th. Christina, those are some pretty big shoes to fill. Absolutely. Like yeah. I was just telling you, I can't believe that he's the love jet. I mean... That makes me love him even more. Uh, I think he kind of secretly works some of those licks in there with a little yeah. brush action. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Phil, thank you. Sure.